Okay, on this belt driver blower, does that belt look tight enough to uh, not slip when it starts? Well, right now I'm drilling a hole in that thing, and we're going to check static pressure in that thing with the belt tight and with it loose. So let's try it loose first. Okay, if you can see that up there, it's doing about 0.25 inches water column uh, pressure on this thing. And that's with the belt loose, just like that. Very loose belt. And next, we're going to go ahead and tighten that belt up. And we're going to try static pressure again and see if there's any difference. Okay, <clears throat> it looks like uh, the pressure is about the same whether that belt's tight or loose. It doesn't seem to make much difference. Um, so the belts on these things do not have to be really tight. And we'll talk about how tight we can actually put them uh, a little later. Okay, we're going to fire this off uh, with a really loose belt. And you watch the way it's working it's uh, you know it didn't squeal or anything uh, on startup it uh, just started up but you can see that belts flopping all over the place to one side the other side there is tight because that's where it's pulling the power I think maybe this is a little bit too loose uh, probably wouldn't come off but I'd rather have it a little tighter than that okay we're gonna tighten this belt up a little tighter and we're going to start it up and let's see how it works. Now you can see it's not flop around so bad as it did before. It's not real tight but as I said before it doesn't have to be very tight to actually drive the pulley. So you can see that now as I push that in that is about the right tension on a fractional horsepower belt driver. Okay, let's try it with uh, the belt very tight. Now that's kind of the one inch depression that we usually use on multiple horsepower belts. It's pretty hard to do on this thing because it's all got resilient mounts in it and stuff. But you can see the belt does not do anywhere near the flopping about uh, that it did before. There's still some on there. You can't get rid of all of it. Uh, but I can't tighten a, a fractional horsepower belt up this tight and I'll tell you why. Okay, uh, if you tighten these belts this tight, the bronze bushings that are used in the blower housing and sometimes in the motor itself will fail. They're not made to take that kind of pressure. That's a lot of pressure pulling that pulley towards the motor and I would say the uh, blower bearings would go first. Uh, also, everything is resilient mounted. The bearings on the blower are rubber mounted, the rubber mounted on the motor, so it's going to flex the uh, drive pulley when you uh, tighten it up and it's going to knock it out of line. So, with a fractional horsepower, you need to keep that thing fairly loose. About this tight is just about where it should be. You can see the motor flexes a little bit even then. So about that tightness is about as good as you're going to get without damaging parts. Okay, if it's over one horsepower, remember these belts got to be tight. Most of those motors are not resilient mounted. And you get those things tight with about that one inch depression that you can push with your thumb. And that's usually good enough. There are tensioning gauges out there you can use, but I've always used that. So to summarize, under a horsepower, keep the belt pretty loose. Over a horsepower, very tight. Consider uh, that if the belt squeals on startup or squeals while running, check the condition of your pulleys, check the condition of your belt. If those are good, you're going to have to tighten it a little tighter. Of course, alignment's uh, important on this too. 
and that's it for adjusting uh, belt drives.